Well, there's nothing quite like delicious homemade salsa, and there's a woman in Orangevale who has perfected her recipe. Yeah, Cody Stark is with her now learning the secret to her salsa. Mm-hmm. Indeed, indeed. This is Marla Todd. Uh, Marla has a fantastic sense of humor and is be quickly becoming my favorite person. I'm just telling you right now, you are hilarious. Okay, so let's talk about your salsa. Number one, if you want to see how funny her uh, sense of humor is, uh, you just look in the labels here. Let These me see, are let me also see. great. Give me that salsa. <laughs> Give me that Give salsa. Me that. Give me that. We've got, uh, th you heard it here. This salsa is great. <laughs> <laughs> and so all the labels are fantastic. and it is it's it's not false advertising it's delicious salsa. it's wonderful i salsa. like that cody needs salsa and there's each label is its own unique flavor and you can make your own and you can make your own unique flavor uh -huh. so it's fun uh -huh. it's a lot of fun so let's let's break this down let's talk about how long you've been making salsa I have been making salsa for about 35, 40 years. Mm -hmm. Started making it with my mom. Grew up canning, and uh, we cured our own olives. Um, grew up in Fair Oaks, and everyone had olives, and everybody made jams and jellies, which I do not make. And uh, so we started making salsa, my mom and I, and I have just kept making it, kept making it better and better, and... Here I am. <laughs> you are. Here I'm you still are. making it, and everyone <laughs> loves it. Everybody loves it. Matter of fact, they love it so much, you're like, where can I buy said salsa? Nowhere. You can't buy it. Um, it's not for sale. I, I do this out of love. It's, uh, oh, it's, it's one of those things, if I bought it, I'd have to get a commercial kitchen, and it would become a business. And for me, it just wouldn't be any fun anymore. Yeah. It would take all I, I do this to relax. It's something that I just do out of fun. I think that that's do lovely. Love. I just do it out of love. Yeah, I think yeah. that that is absolutely, well, lovely. That's what I think about it. I it think it's is. lovely. It's, and, and then I, you have a graphic design background, so the yeah, labels too. look professional. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, I don't know if these will win any awards, but they're, um, but yeah, that's a lot of fun. And, and usually as I'm making the salsa, I'll, I'll think about, I'll just start thinking about goofy ideas um, that I can use to, for the, the label for that one. Because it's See. all, you need to label your salsa and date it anyway, so you may as well make it fun. Say so like today, we're going to make Crack and open that salsa. Yes. Yeah, and that idea just came from a story I saw about some sea life. And there was an octopus, and I thought, oh, wow, let's do, let's do that. So I, made, so I made those a couple days ago um, in advance. And if you happen to be on the friends and family list and you eat all the salsa and you return the jar, yes. you will get it filled back up Yes, again. you will. You will get a new jar if you return it. And... Um, just bring the jar back. Um, never reuse the lids because that's not your. It will not seal, and your salsa will go bad. But um, if you never, when you're canning, at least you can. But yeah, if you return the jar, I will um, bring it to you. Also, if you can things that I don't can, like jams and jellies and Ooh, things like trade? that, then yeah, I'll yeah. trade you. All right, sounds good. <laughs> so. so we're going to learn how the magic is made coming up. Matter of fact, we've got the ingredients right here. So we'll be doing that as the show goes on. Get your pencil and paper so you can write it down as we're doing it. Back to you guys in the studio. Mm. Our mm. chips away. Crack it open, yeah. that salsa. Yes. Oh, Let the oh, big oh. bag of chips go. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Code. And welcome back. Cody's Caravan. We're in Orangevale. We're at Marla's house. We're learning how to make her special salsa. Uh, and once again, remind people at home how long you've been making salsa. I've been making salsa for 35 to 40 years. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. started out with my mom, grew up canning olives with my dad and my mom. And uh, my mom would make all kinds of jams and jellies and interesting things. And we started making salsa one year. A lot of trial and error, but... Now we've got it down. You've got it dialed in, my friend. You have yeah. got it dialed in. Yeah. So the different flavors are usually uh, dictated by what you find at a, at a farmer's market. Right, right. exactly, thinking. exactly. Usually I try to use some sort of Roma-type tomatoes because there's three parts of the salsa that, that you have to have. 
You have to have your peppers, mm -hmm. which are not bell peppers. But no, they're, not they're bell hot. peppers. They're chili peppers yeah. like jalapenos, anchos, Anaheim's, um, Fresno chilies. You have your onions here, which you can use yellow or white, throw in a red if you like it. And then you, you have your tomatoes. And um, that is the, the key to the salsa. One thing I'm going to show you right now is um, I chart one of the secrets. Or it's not a secret because you all know it now. <laughs> one of the things about is, is my tomatoes is I sprinkle them with salt. And I usually don't have to add any more salt to the salsa when I make it. Oh, really? And okay. this will all be canned. Um, water bath, or you can make it fresh. Either way, it's all good. It's all good. So uh, a lot of times I know people will do a water bath, yeah. but you like to roast them because that gives a little more you oomph. It, you give it a little flavor. Also, it sweetens it up. I mean, it brings out the flavor, so you don't have to add any sugar to it. And that's one thing that makes salsa one of these perfect food, is there's very little salt in it. Um, you could even do it salt free if you want to, and it's all natural. These came from the organic, um, certified organic farmers market, the one off of Sunrise and Folsom Boulevard, and sent on Saturdays. And so, once you get the three basics, you can then add whatever you want. And so, I'll show you some of those additions to it. Okay, but it's okay. it's really. Yes. It's all it's all good for you. It's all good for you. Yeah, okay, so, so let's put this I'll guy do, in the oven. Yeah, what I'm going to do is take this out so Cody can slot that, that in. And I'm going to take this out. And this is what you end up with. Probably about 20 minutes to a half hour. You get these nice uh, tomatoes that are that have this nice char yes. on the top. So it's like fire roasted, but you do it, you don't need a fire. You do it at home in your broiler. And then you just, um, I don't have a bowl here for this, but then when you, these cool down a little bit, see how the skin, you don't want the skin on it. Oh, okay. I'm going to use my fingers. The skin just slides right off. Oh, so take the skin off so the skin off you don't want the skin off because it'll it'll turn out tough so you put the skin off and then I've got a paper bag over here that I'm going to throw all the skin in and then that'll go either in the compost pile or if you live in Sacramento County it goes in your green waste can uh -huh. okay so that's our first so process so that's the first we will process. pause next part of the process is coming up and then the eating time happens. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. That's the best time, and it's <laughs> worth the wait. <laughs> I'm telling you, I've been snacking on it all morning. It is worth the wait. It's delicious. All right, so stick around. We got more in her salsa recipes uh, with Marla coming up. Okay. Back to you guys. Um, hey, Code, um, your your shirt du jour. Apparently, you have uh -huh. very good taste because uh, one of our viewers oh. emailed and said, "Hey, Cody's got great taste. I got the same shirt. That's Todd." You and Todd are rocking the same shirt. Are you shirt. serious? Yes. It's fantastic. Twinsies. <laughs> Twinsies. <laughs> so good. Oh, right? Man. You both have stylish uh, eyewear glass. Fabulous. Oh, excellent. <laughs> I got a twin out there. Yeah, excellent. you do. Thanks, Code. All right. Uh, this salsa we're about to show you is so good, you simply will have to have the entire thing. Okay, so let's check back in with Cody. He is uh, eating some salsa for breakfast. I don't think that that is a bad idea at all. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. But remember, you can't buy it. You got to be a friend. You got you to gotta invite her to a party because <laughs> she'll bring it to there. Okay, so we started with the tomatoes. In the right. Tomatoes. Step. What's, what's our next step? We have the tomatoes. Then you you have your tomatoes and next you have to process everything and cook it down and flavor it. So the first thing I usually do before the tomatoes, while the tomatoes are roasting, I take care of the peppers and the onions. And so I put them in my, um, I'm using a blender with a lot of blades in here. If you use just a regular kind of blender with just the little, one little blade in the bottom, um, that's not gonna work, it's gonna clog up. So use a mm. blender, use either a food processor or a blender with multiple blades inside. And so I take the peppers and the onions and I put some vinegar in it because you need vinegar if you're water canning. 
You need the acidity up to make your salsa safe and tasty. Okay. Now, so, let's before you hit the button, yeah. uh, peppers. What kind of peppers are we oh, talking peppers. about? Peppers. I use serrano peppers, ancho peppers, jalapenos, always some jalapenos in there. I, today we have Fresno peppers, too, and I usually use Anaheim peppers, but I couldn't find any for today. Now, so, one thing she doesn't use is bell peppers. No. If you put bell peppers in your salsa, uh, you're doing it wrong. You are. You are. If you, do, <laughs> if you want to use bell peppers and do some sort of condiment with bell peppers, you need to find a different recipe. Um, this is for traditional salsa made with chili peppers. So whatever chili peppers are available, whatever flavor you want, uh, don't use the little chai, Thai chilies and the little teeny ones because mm. those uh, texture and flavors, not wrong. But any uh, common chili pepper that's, that's out there that you can find, either grow your own or find in the farmer's market or in your grocery store. So those all, all work, whatever flavor you want. Also, if you want to use chipotle peppers, mm. here's some here, and you can, can you smell it? If you oh, want to give it that nice it. smoky flavor, these are canned chipotle peppers. Um, they're, they're pretty spicy, but if you like pretty spicy, uh, use these in as many as you want. But, and if you don't want it that size spicy, just throw in one of them and uh, use the adobo sauce around it. It's Ooh, nice. really, really nice. Gives it a nice kind of smoky flavor. And so after we, uh, let's wake some I, people up. Go should, ahead. Yeah. So I'll wake everybody up. So we want to power this on. Just do, whoops, just do a few pulses. We don't want to do about five pulses. We don't want to liquefy it unless you want more of a, what is that? Like a picante sauce? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we just, Get everything, do a few pulses. Chunky. Yeah, yeah, get it nice and chunky. But that's up to you because when you make this, it's your salsa. <coughs> Excuse me. Watch out for the peppers. They're hot. Yeah, that gets me. So, and then you, you dump all of these, get all these dumped in here. Real nice. And then you just keep, uh, and then you keep going. You okay, can well, add. let's pause right there because okay. uh, we'll have another segment where we'll keep going. Okay. Yeah, I'm learning stuff. I'm learning stuff. Yeah, you are. And yeah, that pepper does kind of take your breath away. <laughs> <laughs> it went, whoa. Hey, Cole. Uh, oh. Once again, you, you, yes, ma'am. I was going to mm -hmm. ask, where, where do you want to send the caravan next? But finish your thought. Well, I, I was going to say, uh, if you have something that's a labor of love that you do, and you're like, no, I do not want to sell this because I find joy in the thing and giving it away is a joy. Like we met our friend that paints every day. Remember our friend? Yeah, that's um, right. Uh, and the gentleman that we met that makes the, the, the yard art. If you do something like that, let me know. I love that idea. I love the idea that you don't want to turn it into a business. You're just doing it because you love it. Let me know. Good day at KMAXTV.com. We'll finish up our salsa recipe. Come Cody, a okay. uh, text from the wife who is practically a salsa sommelier. <laughs> <laughs> Quote, get some of mm -hmm. that salsa, please. <laughs> Corey's got good taste. Well, I'm bringing some back. Yeah. <laughs> she, uh, yeah. she is a salsa connoisseur for sure. Thank you, Coke. Thanks, Coke. An Orange Vale woman has perfected, has been perfecting her salsa recipe now for more than 30 years. So, of course, we sent Cody in his fabulous shirt with the caravan over to her house to try and get some of that <laughs> secret recipe. Hey, Coke. Oh, we've been cooking. We've been cooking this morning. <laughs> okay, so we, we've got our pot right here. So what's going on here? Okay, what's go going on here is we have our tomatoes, peppers, and our onions. And they're all grated up and ready to go. And now we add some, we can stop here if we want, because Cody said it was really, it's good, really good just with, as it is. Without the spices, yeah. But we're going to add just a little bit more. And this is where when you make your own salsa, you can do whatever, well, almost whatever you want. So some of the options you have, if you like cilantro and don't think it tastes like soap, you can put in <laughs> fresh cilantro and make sure you chop it really fine and use the stems. There's a lot of flavor in there. Ooh. You can use chili powder. Okay. Uh, garlic, this is some dried minced garlic, but you can also use the fresh stuff. Uh, I always add in, and I'm going to put in some of here, just adds a little bit something, is the Mexican oregano. You can mm. see that's not just leaves, there's little um, 
looks like little buds in there and you can get that at any um, any grocery store so just add a little bit of there and then the magic ingredient that I always add and you can smell this smells slightly like has a little bit of citrus mm -hmm. in there along with the um, and not cilantro this is cumin. cumin excuse me I'm sorry I made a mistake it's been a long morning. <laughs> anyway, so this is cumin, and this is this is the this is the bomb. It's not. There are no secrets in my cooking or recipes. I do not believe in secret recipes. I believe in sharing all of it. So you add some of that. A nice good dose of that. If you want to, you can add chipotle peppers. These come in a can. They're um, they're jalapeno peppers that are in an adobo sauce mm. and I don't know what that means <laughs> and um, but it's really really good and it adds this really wonderful rich smoky spiciness to your um, to your food and also I'm going to add just a little zinc to it I'm going to add a half a lime okay you want to be a little um, you don't want to go overboard on a lime and you don't want to put any lime peel or lemon zest in your salsa because while it's good in other dishes like desserts it is not good when you're canning salsa it will make it bitter so then we stir, stir it, it up. all around. And then how long would this cook? We stir it along and then we said this is all going this will be canned and so you bring it to a boil bring this to a boil and then let it simmer for about 25 minutes. From there, you put it in your hot jars. And I forgot to take this out. You just get one of these um, oh, okay. things to, you put it in here. We got to wrap up, unfortunately. And, and, that's, and that's what you do. And then you have salsa. Can it according to water bath instructions for. And it usually generally can go in water bath for about 30 minutes, and you have salsa mm. that you can have all year long. Mm. It's real good. It is. It's really good. Mm. And also, you can make it all year long. Mm -hmm. So it's great. You need to put a funny label on it and make all your friends happy. <laughs> and make it exactly how you want to make it. Mm. They're so good. Thank you for hanging out with us this morning. Oh, you're welcome. It's you a lot are of fun. delightful. It was fun. I'm telling you, I have had so much fun here. You guys should have heard the conversations in between the commercial breaks. It was so fun. <laughs> Thank you again. If people would like the recipe, where, where, where can they find um, it? You can find it on westcoastreview.com. That's west-review-.com. And I highly recommend it. Thank you, Marla. Oh, Appreciate welcome. you. It back to you guys fun. in the studio. And, yes, I'm bringing a bunch back. Yay! Yay! We got the mm. chips. We ready. Mm. Thanks, Goat. <laughs> you ready? Thank you, Kelly.